more than anything, defines a surfer. Talent's fine, but funny's a lot better. Those that are too serious are treated like Hare Krishnas at the airport. Because after all, why surf if you're not having fun? And by keeping it light, the heavy can be handled. Everyone is on the same page. We all enjoy the pure fact of riding waves and being in the ocean. No matter how you're doing it, if it's on your stomach, you know, it's just the pure love of the ocean. Oh yeah, if I'm lying down, I'm gonna be surfing. I'm standing up surfing, halfway standing up, kneeling down, I don't even care. As long as I get in the water and surf, it's gonna go down. It's about, you know, showing other people of how you can collaborate with somebody else, even though they're in a position the way Jesse's in, he's still willing to like, hey, you know, you like to surf, you know, just the way if he was walking, let's continue to do this. You know, he's a Pisces, he's a fish. He's supposed to be in the water. So that just tells everybody else, hey, you know, if he's surfing and wow, you know, he might be paralyzed, but hey, that, that gives me inspiration. Let's go out there and do it. You know, I was always into basketball and, you know, other sports, but surfing now, the way I look at it, it's a whole different way. It's more of a spiritual. I have a lot of burning sensation pain in my body, but once I hit the water, I have no pain whatsoever. If I'm tight, my limbs are like, you know, tight. As soon as I hit the water, get out of the water, everything's loose. I got a smile from ear to ear, and it's like nothing, nothing could compare to that. To be such a, a top prospect as an amateur, to be just like destined to become a professional surfer and to have such a tragic accident ha happen to him. I broke my neck surfing about five years ago. Just pulled into a barrel, and when I was coming out, the wave hit me in my back, and I went head first and didn't have time to put uh, my arms in front of me and just hit the bottom, and the whole body went numb and tingly. It's so hard for me to think that there's just like that the nerve it's just, it's broken. It's just one little nerve that's that's broken right there, and then that's the whole thing that connects. I don't think I, I, I do so well, you know? Jesse called me up because he was having a golf golf tournament to uh, raise money for his, his uh, foundation, and uh, he, he also wanted to talk to me about getting back in the water. Rob passed the famous surf star. He's like, as a human being that no one really knows about, is just so special. I mean, he's got the biggest heart. You know, I, I mean, I was honored and at the same time really kind of scared. I was like, we're going. I'm not nervous as long as I got you guys. We're fine. But they were all sketched and scared and there's no need, no need. It was crazy. The first day we took him surfing was, was just a complete unknown. We did it. This was just the beginning. Soon, Jesse and Rob surfed in every opportunity. And with the help of Jesse's brother, Josh, his nurse, Sonny, and support from old friends like the Malloy brothers, Jesse is back, and he's charging. For him, nothing's changed. He wants to take off deep. He wants to stay out as long as he can. I asked him, I go, would you rather have it be big and stormy or, or like this and nice and glassy? And he's all bigger. And regarding about surfing with Rob, since he's a goofy foot, he's been really biased about me taking off on rights. You're not gonna convert me to a goofy footer just because you are. Hey, he's a goofy foot too. Hey, I'm not goofy, so am I. <laughs> <laughs> he's surrounded by goofy. I'm the only regular.